A very warm welcome to this, the first film in our modular coordination series in which we explain the basic principles of masonry. We'll start by looking at exactly what masonry units there are and the materials from which they are generally made. Bricks and blocks are used to build walls both external and internal. They are characterized by their size and provide a construction material that is convenient and easy to handle. They are dimensioned so that they can be laid by hand or with the help of a simple hoist. When humans first started building permanent structures, they produced blocks from naturally occurring stone, which we refer to as natural stone. They simply used the field stones they found around them or dressed stone to form manageable blocks. When no natural stone was available, early builders had to fashion blocks themselves in the form of air-dried or fire-baked bricks made of loam or clay-bearing mud, for example. You will all have seen many of these old bricks yourselves. Indeed, they are still as common as the modern industrial sand lime bricks and concrete blocks that are still produced today by using chemical processes to transform raw materials into solid blocks. Summary Bricks are made roughly the size of a human hand and can be used to build walls without the need for significant equipment. Bricks and blocks can also be made from natural stone, from loam or clay-bearing mud, and from concrete or sand-lime mixes. Please take a look at the second film in our modular coordination series in which we look at the way in which bricks, blocks and stone are laid to form a wall.